The Bible made a shocking mistake, but the Quran corrected it. So I've been tagged by a number of you in this video, so let's address it. You see, in the Bible, in the story of Joseph, the king of Egypt is called a pharaoh. And in the story of Moses, the king of Egypt is also called a pharaoh. But this is incorrect. Only the kingdom at the time of Moses used the term pharaoh. Every single kingdom before that did not use the term pharaoh. So this really seems to be turning a molehill into a mountain. When words move across different languages, they often get modified in meaning. For example, when the word Yule came from Old Norse into English, it was no longer exclusively used for a pagan holiday and was used to refer to any midwinter period. Likewise, when the word Pharaoh was brought into Hebrew, it was just used as a general title to refer to the kings of Egypt. Likewise, this is also what the word means in English, and we can find scholars who refer to the rulers of the Old Kingdom as the Pharaohs. It would be really strange to say they are in error. Moreover, my question is this. If the Quran miraculously preserves correct terminology, why does it use the Arabic word that translates as king or ruler? Why not use the ancient Egyptian term for king and contrast that with the Egyptian word pharaoh? And this even brings to light a problem for the Quran, which is that it explicitly claims the pharaoh of the Exodus drowned in the Red Sea. But we have no evidence any pharaoh from the New Kingdom period actually did drown in the Red Sea. The most likely pharaoh of the Exodus was Ramesses II, and he lived well into his old age and past the point he would have been able to lead a chariot army. Whereas the biblical narrative does not explicitly say the pharaoh drowned in the Red Sea, and when Exodus 14 says the Egyptians turned and fled, it leaves open the possibility that the pharaoh made it out alive and lived well past the Exodus event. Conservative scholars like Kenneth Kitchen, James Hoffmeyer, and David Falk all agree that Exodus does not explicitly record that the pharaoh drowned in the Red Sea. Even scholars that take an ultra-literal reading of the Bible, like Douglas Petrovich, agree with this assessment as well. So if the Quran is really accurate here, why doesn't it use the ancient Egyptian term for king? And why does it say the pharaoh drowned in the Red Sea? The archaeological evidence does not support that claim. 